Hello, welcome. We are looking at uh, trigonometry here on Khan Academy, specifically the equations and identities section. And towards the end, we have um, introduction to trig angle addition identities. So we're going to go through how to use the trig angle addition identities as this practice module shows us. So let's look at some examples here. They want us to find a uh, cosine of twice angle ABC. So that's this angle right here. Let's just call that X. So the cosine of 2X, that's a double angle formula, but that has to be the same thing as the cosine of X plus X. And we know that that is the cosine of X times the cosine of X minus the sine of the angles that we're looking at. This is the same angle twice, so it's just sine of x times sine of x. And in this triangle, this is the cosine addition formula. Uh, if we look at it from this angle's perspective, the cosine is 2 over radical 13 times cosine of x, same thing, 2 over radical 13 minus the sine of that angle. So it's 3 over opposite over hypotenuse, 3 over radical 13 and 3 over radical 13. Here, that's going to be 4 minus 9. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 9 over 13, because radical 13 times itself is just 13. And that's negative 5 over 13. And that's our answer. In the next one, oh, let me go back. We can also use a double angle formula. Uh, there's different versions of the cosine double angle formula. But for example, you could say it equals twice the cosine squared of x minus 1. Well, that's the same thing as twice. So find cosine of x adjacent over hypotenuse, so 2 over radical 13. And we're squaring that and then subtracting 1. So what does that equal? I'm going to write this down here while I have some room. We're going to get negative 5 thirteenths. Spoiler alert, but I just want you to see it. So 2 times 2 over radical 13 squared minus 1, that equals 2 times 4 over 13, right? We square the top and bottom, and when you square a square root, they cancel out, and minus 1, and that's the same thing as 2 times 4, which is 8 over 13, minus 1, which is 13 over 13, and that's negative 5 thirteenths. So any of the uh, formulas that you use and apply uh, will get you the same exact answer. That's just one way to write, you could also find 1 minus twice the sine squared of this angle. That's another co uh, cosine double angle formula. Okay, next one. Find the sine of twice angle BAC. So BAC is here. So we'll call this angle X. So this is another double angle formula. So the sine of 2X as a double angle formula would just be twice the sine of X times the cosine of X. And that would be what? Well, the sine of x is 3 over radical 10. It's opposite over uh, hypotenuse, so 3 over radical 10. And the cosine is adjacent 1 over radical 10. And what are we going to get? Well, 2 times 3 times 1 is 6 over radical 10 times radical 10 is 10, and that's just 0 0.6. You could also find the sine of x plus x, which equals the sine of x times the cosine of x plus the cosine of x times the sine of x, and you will get the same thing. You just find the sines and cosines of this angle here and reducing it. In the next example, here they want us to find the cosine of BAC plus 30. What does that mean? Well, here we're going to use our cosine addition formula, that the cosine of A plus B equals cosine of A times cosine of B minus the sine of A times the sine of B. In our case, we have angle BAC and 30. So the 30 is referring to, a, you can think of it as a separate triangle. That might help. So if I put 30 degrees here, 60 here, and 90 there, uh, we have a hypotenuse, let's say, of 1. So the side across from 30 is half of that. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem, or maybe just remember 
the other side is radical 3 over 2. So we have the cosine of BAC. That's this angle right here. That's our first angle in our formula. So the cosine of that angle, BAC, is adjacent over hypotenuse. It's 12 over 20 times the cosine of 30. So in this special triangle, that's the adjacent side, radical 3 over 2 over 1, the hypotenuse, minus the sine of, so, so now we're here, the sine of angle A is the sine of the first angle we're looking at, BAC. That's opposite over hypotenuse, so it's 16 over 20, times the sine of B, which is 30 degrees. So the sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse, or 1 half. So this is going to cancel nicely because here we have 16 over 2 is 8, 12 over 2 is 6, and 6 over 20 is 3 tenths. So this first term becomes 3 times radical 3 over 10 minus, uh, this becomes 4 tenths and then 2 fifths minus 2 fifths. And notice here they've just written it in a different way. There's our 3 tenths times radical 3 minus 2 fifths. Okay, so here's the last one. Uh, here we have a sine addition formula. So sine of angle ABC plus 60. The sine addition formula is the sine of A plus B equals the sine of A times the cosine of B plus the sine of B times the cosine of A. And A and B are just referring to the two angles we're looking at. In our case, we'll call angle ABC angle A, and we'll call 60 degrees B. So the sine of ABC, ABC, this is this angle here, is the opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm just going to write it below. This That means that this is 4 fifths. The cosine of a 60 degree angle goes back to our special triangles. That looks like that does not look correct. So let me just here. That's still, I want to make my angle up here 30 degrees or a little bit closer to 30 degrees. Maybe something like that. Okay. So this is 30, 90, and 60. And if our hypotenuse is 1, the side across from the 30 degree angle is a half. And this is radical 3 over 2. I'm showing you this triangle because the other angle they're asking us to consider is in this triangle at 60 degrees. It's defined here for us. So, um, so we, if we want to find the sine, the cosine of 60, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. It's just one half over one. And then we find the sine of 60 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse, so radical three over two, times the cosine of A, which is the angle ABC. That's adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 3 over 5. And then we're just going to simplify it. So here we have 4 tenths, which reduces to 2 fifths in the first here. And then we have plus 3 radical 3 over 10, plus 3 radical 3 over 10. They, they just write it slightly differently here, right? They pull. Uh, the radical term outside, or at least to the left of the fraction, and make that fraction term the coefficient. All right, I hope this helps.